everyone it is Jaden and welcome back to another coffee and create haven't done one in a while done one in a while and this time I didn't go anywhere to buy coffee and I didn't even make it I just used the stock brand pumpkin spice coffee which I typically don't like those like pre-made coffees that are already mixed with like the milk and stuff but the stock brand ones are pretty good so I got I picked this one up at the grocery store but anyways, enough about the coffee, and let's get into what I'm actually going to be creating today. Now, I, as you can see, I'm wearing a Scream shirt, so I'm obviously in the mood to do something for spooky season. And I thought it'd be fun to make little magnet blind bags based off designs that I have done before, though previously those were felt pins and not little paintings. But anyways, let's go do it. So here are the previous designs that I said I had made before. Horror movie popsicles, they're inspired by those silly little like character popsicles that you can get. Um, last time I did these, like I said, I had done as pins. They were made out of felt with beads for their little eyes. But this time I got these little, I have these little canvases that managed to fit into these little bags that I use for blind bags pretty well, quite perfectly almost. So that's what I am going to be doing. So I'm just going to paint all of these. I'm going to make the package kind of look, or the package, I'm going to make the painting kind of look like the packaging, like the backing cards that I did for when I made these as pins. But yeah, I thought these would be a lot of fun to do. I have Ghostface, Jason, Freddy, Jigsaw, Michael, and Pennywise. And then I'm thinking about, since like these little character popsicles, their eyeballs are made out of gumballs, so they stick out a little bit more. I'm thinking of using a little bit of polymer clay to make like the little gumball eyes and attaching them to these little canvases. The only thing about that though is I'm worried about like how, like I'm worried about them obviously coming off. Though I'll use probably like E6000 and then and them just getting like messed up somehow in the bag, but we'll see. But first, as you can see, these poor little canvases are bare, so they need to be gessoed. So. Let's do that. So it is gesso time. Now I'm just using this acrylic gesso and then also some of that neon green paint because I like to mix it in with my gesso just to have it like tinted another color just to make sure that I've covered every square inch of my little canvases. I do this with pretty much any like acrylic painting that I do. Um, I also want to go ahead and say that I did not do the clay eyeball idea. Um, I just, I want to be completely honest, at the time I thought it'd be cute, but I just didn't really want to do it. And then also I had some difficulty with like closing the little bags with the canvases just by themselves in it and I just didn't want to add anything extra onto them but anyways as you can see I went ahead and started sketching out all of the different designs I use my good old coal erase pencil which if you all have watched any of my other videos where I use them you all know that I absolutely love them they're my favorite thing to use when sketching I then just used acrylic paint to do the white on all of the little canvases just because that was easier than using the white acrylic paint markers now i'm using the rx paint markers these are um, a new box that i had gotten and why i do really enjoy these paint markers and they are also so like incredibly convenient and fun to work with they do this thing where they do smear a lot which i haven't experienced with like other paint markers that i've used or like even like the Ardex ones that I like the one that I'm using right now is a lot different than the ones with like the black um the, like the one that I'm using right now in this clip um the black ones they just smear a lot more which is really annoying and they pick up like other colors a lot more so that kind of does suck but I still enjoy using them and I of course am going to continue using them um I do enjoy these though they also they are a great like affordable option and then they also like in this particular box that i'm using they do have a lot of different colors um they're very fine tip which i enjoy but anyways as you can see right now i'm making the freddy krueger um popsicle now with each popsicle i went ahead and i kind of did the same or like the same thing for each one put down a base color 
did some sort of like um, shading, if you will, and then added highlights, of course, just to make them all pretty and shiny. I then colored the background of each one, um, not forgetting to do the sides. Now, you will see later, like once they're all finished, but for the little um, horror sickle like designs, in the corner like to look like the packaging you did not see me add horror sickle in the um blue and red part and the only reason i did that was because i was like real up close and like personal uh, with these little paintings because it was really difficult to get them very small and it was just a whole process so i just didn't film it because i also just didn't think you would be able to see it very well also, it is kind of hard to tell, but like the black of ghost faced eyes and then the black or the color of the gumballs is different. The gumballs are like a darker brown, but you it's a lot easier to tell in person that they are two different colors. Um, also, I added shading. Um, I did not do well. You did not see me do that on the Freddy Krueger one, but I did do that. The Pennywise. Um, Popsicle is probably my favorite out of all of them. I really enjoy how much that one came out with his little makeup and stuff like that. Also, as you can see right now, I was layering the white over top of that like grayish brown color to help like lighten it up a little bit and look a bit more accurate to Pennywise's like actual clothing color, which is kind of the like dirty, grimy clown costume. And obviously this is the Pennywise from the I believe it came out in 2017 version of it as opposed to the, to the like 1990s version I believe that's when it came out which is the 1990s version is definitely very much more of a traditional clown look I feel like at least in my opinion and then like the 2017 version of Pennywise is definitely a lot more spookier and creepier from the get-go as opposed to looking like a straight-up clown that you would see at like a circus or like some like i don't know kid's birthday party i don't know but anyways i moved on to doing jason Voorhees from friday the 13th this one was definitely probably the most simple out of all of them it was mainly just like white and then like some extra little details done in red now on jason's mask i believe it's like a hockey mask he does have like these little um dots all over it however i did not include them on this um it just i had tried it out and i i personally thought it looked like really busy and just kind of like goofy <laughs> so i did end up getting rid of them just because i did not like them we then have michael myers this is also another pretty simple mask especially in terms of like the face which just includes a little like gray line for his like mouth which i just find very silly um and then i just did again like the gumball eyes these are like black as opposed to like the light brown that i did or like the dark brown actually that i did for ghost face and then of course added those nice juicy highlights um what youtuber says that like that's um i believe it's like is it mariah elizabeth who says like the juicy highlights um but yeah i added them just to make it look all nice anyways i am just rambling and then finally got to the very last popsicle which was jigsaw from of course the saw movies this was another fun one to do with like the little bow tie and like the little swirly cheeks um i've actually don't think i've ever seen the original jigsaw movie or saw movie like the first one i think i've only seen like one of the like many like sequels which like i remember it not being very great though i've heard like the original is like very good i'm not a big fan of the like weird torture-esque horror movies i don't like them um i prefer the more like like scream and something like that more like humorous like horror movies but it's also kind of scary like i feel like you get what i mean i'm just not a fan of the weird again like the torturey kind of crap i don't know it's just odd anyways here you can see i had yet to add the horror sickle part but i did add that and then i used some spray varnish i then did a very messy sketch of what i want the packaging to look like and i ended up reusing the backing cards that i did for the felt pin versions of these and just edit 
id them to work for these little blind bags i added this little blood spot in the corner and then you'll see that i add a kind of spooky-esque font to make it say horrifyingly tasty because i just thought that would be like kind of like funny and cute and then for the packaging instead of drawing each individual um popsicle i just did ghost face um that was just a more like very simple design to do for the cover and also, you know, Scream is my favorite horror movie, so I, of course, had to draw a ghost face. And I just did everything on Procreate, just a very simple design. Just trying to make it look like the original packaging of, like, those boxes of, like, these popsicles or, like, this, the individual ones that you would get. I remember getting them as, like, a kid, like, the Spongebob ones and stuff like that with, like, their weird little gumball eyes and they were never, like, great ice creams but they were still fun to get with like the characters on them and I think the fact that the characters were also like not perfect was like part of their charm which is also why like none of these look like entirely perfect like they're kind of like melty and like the eyes aren't really where they should be and stuff and that's just of course to make them look how they would look like if you pulled them out of a package they would not be perfect at all but again, I added the, like, the process of doing the digital drawing was, of course, like, the pretty much the exact same process as doing them traditionally with shading, highlights, base colors, all of that good stuff. But here is the finished cover. This would be going on the front of the bags. And then I drew each individual popsicle and they went on the back. And then each individual popsicle will also be printed out to go in the little bag with the painting. Now here I am, I'm just using my little like cutter thing to cut everything down. Um, I didn't get the like print or the size exactly perfect so they are a little big so I did actually have to trim them down quite a bit but I got them to work and then here you are seeing me struggle trying to peel it off. I'm so like bad at like peeling the sticker paper but I eventually was able to do it and just went ahead adding all of the stickers to the bags so that they will be ready for all of their little paintings. Now here are all the finished paintings and as you can see I also added the name of each character to them and then cut off strips of the this like magnet like like stickers that I could add to the back of the paintings. Now I originally thought I would only just need like the two strips, one on the top and one on the bottom. However, I was very wrong. I ended up having to do the entire back, but this way they do actually stick to the fridge. So I went ahead and just cut out bigger pieces for the rest of the magnets. And here they are proof that they do stick to the fridge and don't slide and move around. And then printed off like smaller, just like plain versions of each popsicle. And then added some holographic laminating sheets on top. And now this is something if I used like regular laminating sheets, I would not be cutting them by hand. However, my like Cricut freaks out with the hollow like laminating sheets. So I had to do it myself. Anyways, I just went ahead and packaged up all of the little blind bags and then they are done. Here they all are nice and ready to go. Um, you can see a little bit of at the top that the painting, like you can see the yellow through it, but that's okay because you can't tell which character it is. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, so I am back. I realized there was one last little thing I wanted to do on the outside of the packaging for these blind bags. Um, did I really need to film this? No, but I thought I would show y'all anyways. So I used a paintbrush, dipped it in some of this like maroon paint, and then just kind of like flicked it so I could get paint all over the packaging of the blind bags. And after making a mess all over like my hands and like my work area, each little magnet um, packaging now has its final finishing touch. <laughs> 